to our first gathering, our sister gathering, which is um, uh, the churches of Lake Geneva, Elkhorn, Spring Prairie, Darien, and Delavan, UMC together. Bienvenidos sean todos a nuestro primer eh, servicio del circuito de las iglesias de Lake Geneva, Elkhorn, Delavan, and Darien, and Spring Prairie. Muchas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Thank you for coming and uh, uh, do this service with us. Praise God. My name is Pastor Angel. I'm the pastor at the Delavan United Methodist Church and Vida Abundante Church. We want to welcome all of you to our, our service. Uh, before we start, we're going to make a couple of announcements. Um, Bienvenidos sean todos. Yo soy el pastor de la Iglesia de Delavan, eh, Ángel Rosario, y de la Iglesia Vida Abundante. Y antes de comenzar, vamos a dar unos anuncios. Uh, first of all, in front of us, we have the food pantry uh, donations. So if you brought any food items for our food pantry, you can uh, bring it anytime here to these uh, carts. Uh, primero que nada, tenemos las donaciones para el banco de comida aquí al frente. Si usted trajo alguna donación, puede traerla y ponerla ahí a cualquier momento. Um, second of all, we have the offering plates, and they all have its, uh, its name. So if, uh, at the time of the offering, uh, as we sing the doxology, please bring your offerings to the offering plate. Um, also, we have a plate with a blue card. This is the prayer card. If you would like uh, a prayer to be mentioned during the prayer of concern, please fill out one of these cards and put it in that plate uh, there. So, tenemos los uh, platos para la ofrenda aquí al frente también en el tiempo de la ofrenda. Usted puede traer su ofrenda y depositarlo en, en la iglesia correspondiente. Uh, también tenemos una tarjeta para la uh, oración. Si usted quiere que se mencione una oración de petición, uh, puede eh, llenarla y ponerla ahí. Y en el momento de la oración, oramos por todas las tarjetas. Uh, that's all the announcement. Well, no, I lied. You, you forgive me for that. Uh, also, we don't have PowerPoint, we're all used to our PowerPoint, but all the lyrics are going to be printed out in your bulletin, and there might be an insert there, so you can follow along uh, with all the songs. So, como no tenemos el PowerPoint el día de hoy, todas las canciones están escritas en el programa, así que usted puede seguirnos uh, en todas las canciones en el programa. Um, so, I think that's all the announcement I got. All right. Um, let us pray together. Vamos a orar juntos. Vamos a comenzar nuestro servicio con una oración. Father God, we want to thank you for this wonderful morning that you have given us today. Lord, we are so uh, uh, thankful that you have given us uh, this opportunity to come together as brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, for many of us, this is the first time that we see each other. And Father, we thank you that you have allowed us to have this time in which we can worship together. Usually we are separated in our own churches, giving you glory and honor and praises. And today we're doing that united. We're doing that together, Lord. So we pray, Lord, that as we sing these songs and as we read the scripture and hear your message, may your Holy Spirit move supernaturally around us. Father God, I pray that these songs may speak to our hearts. May the, the word, your word speak to us today, Lord. And as we gather here together, may your Holy Spirit move in our hearts and change us. Father, may the message encourage us, Lord, to continue to spread this word around us. And we pray, Lord, that as we finish this service later on, may you also be in the midst of our uh, community and fellowship together. As we uh, fellowship together, we pray, Lord, that may we find joy and hope and, and may we uh, make new friends and may your Holy Spirit move around us as we uh, gather together, Lord. Father, te damos gracias por la oportunidad que tú nos has dado de poder venir juntos para poder adorar y glorificar tu nombre. Mientras adoramos tu nombre, pedimos que tu Espíritu Santo se manifieste poderosamente en nuestros corazones y en nuestras vidas, Señor. 
y que tu espíritu pueda moverse en nosotros aún después del servicio mientras compartimos juntos Señor de estos alimentos te pedimos Dios que tú hables a nuestro corazón a través de las alabanzas a través de tu palabra a través Señor de, de la, de el mensaje de tu palabra y que tu espíritu sea glorificándose en todo lo que hagamos We pray all this in Jesus' name. Oramos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amen. To be secure in earthly treasure, but not rich towards God, is to be poor indeed. Estar seguro en tesoros terrenales, pero no guardar una riqueza en Dios, es ser completamente pobre. Let us worship God with the core worship. Is everybody ready to worship? Yes. yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Praise yes. God. Amen. We're here to worship and glorify God this morning. What a beautiful sunny morning he gave us just for that very purpose. So we should be thanking and praising God that we're not being dumped on right now, right? Amen. All Amen. the thunder, all the thunder claps and clouds all went through the night before. Uh, day before, so I'm going to have you remain seated as we do the call to worship. It will be followed by the Spanish as well, so please uh, just uh, enjoy and uh, let's put our hearts and minds into a worship attitude. Amen? Amen? Give God thanks to the Lord, for God is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. Make your traditions heard. For God saves us in times of trouble. Christ's steadfast love endures forever. God satisfies our hunger with good things and quenches our thirst with living water. The Spirit's steadfast love endures forever. Let us worship. Dele gracias a Dios porque Dios es bueno. El amor incondicional de Dios es para siempre. Haz oír tus peticiones porque Dios nos salva en tiempos de angustia. El amor inquebrantable de Cristo permanece para siempre. Dios sacia nuestra hambre con cosas buenas y aplaca nuestra sed con agua viva. El amor inmovible del Espíritu permanece para siempre. Vamos a adorarlo.
So reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 18 through 27. If the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. The world will love you as one of its own if you belong to it, but you are no longer part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world, so it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A slave is not greater than the master. Since they persecuted me, naturally they will persecute you. And if they have listened to me, they will listen to you. They will do this, all this, to you because of me. For they have rejected the one who sent me. They would not be guilty if I had not come and spoken to them. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates me also hates my father. If I hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do, they would not be guilty. But as it is, they have seen everything I did, yet they still hate me and the Father. This fulfills what is written in their scriptures, they hated me without cause. But I will send you the Advocate, the Spirit of Truth. He will come to you from the Father and will testify all about me. And he must also testify about me, because you have been with me from the beginning of my ministry. This is the word of God for the people of God. Evangelio de San Juan, capítulo 15, del 18 al 27. Si el mundo os aborrece, sabed que a mí me aborreció antes que a vosotros. Si fuerais del mundo, el mundo amaría lo suyo, pero porque no sois del mundo, antes yo os elegí del mundo, por eso el mundo os aborrece. Acordaos de la palabra que yo os he dicho, el siervo no es mayor que su señor. Si a mí me han perseguido, también a vosotros os perseguirán. Si han guardado mi palabra, también guardarán la vuestra. Mas todo esto os harán por causa del nombre, porque no conocen al que me ha enviado. Si yo no hubiera venido y les hubiera hablado, no tendrían pecado, pero ahora no tienen excusa por su pecado. El que, aborre el que me aborrece a mí, también a mi padre aborrece. Si yo no hubiese hecho entre ellos obras que ningún otro ha hecho, no tendrían pecado pero ahora han visto y han aborrecido a mí y a mi Padre. Pero esto es para que se cumpla la palabra que está escrita en su ley. Sin causa me aborrecieron, pero cuando venga el Consolador, a quien yo os enviaré del Padre, el Espíritu de verdad, el cual procede del Padre, él dará testimonio acerca de mí, y vosotros daréis testimonio también porque habéis estado conmigo desde el principio. Palabra de Dios. Amén.
video might recognize this melody. Um, it's an old secular tune that uh, Joe has written some Christian words to, so we can sing it to our Lord instead of singing it to our girlfriend. Right? <laughs> But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people. Because the spirit who lives in you 
is greater than the spirit who lives in this world. La palabra de Dios en primera de Juan capítulo 4 dice de esta manera la nueva traducción viviente. Pero ustedes, mis queridos hijos, pertenecen a Dios. Ya lograron la victoria sobre esas personas porque el espíritu que vive en ustedes es más poderoso que el espíritu que vive en el mundo. Let me tell you a little story. Darren Harrison was one of two passengers in the Cessna 208 plane flying from the Bahamas to Florida when all of a sudden the pilot became incapacitated. Déjame decirte una historia. Darren Harrison era uno de dos pasajeros en un avión Cessna 208 que volaba de las Bahamas hasta Florida cuando de repente el piloto quedó incapacitado. Mr. Harrison heard his pilot said he wasn't feeling good. Suddenly the pilot slumped over the controls of the single engine plane, sending it into a nosedive. El señor Harrison escuchó a su piloto decir que no se sentía bien y de repente el piloto se desplomó sobre los controles del avión enviando el avión en picada. Despite having no flying experience, Mr. Harrison climbed over three rows of seats into the cockpit, moved the pilot out of his seat and scrambled to put on a pair of headphones and made contact with an air traffic control. A pesar de no tener experiencia de vuelo, Harrison se subió a la cabina por encima de tres filas de asiento, sacó al piloto de su asiento y se apresuró a ponerse un par de audífonos y a ponerse en contacto con el control del tráfico aéreo. All as the plane was heading down, todo mientras el avión se desplomaba. As he neared Palm Beach, Florida, Robert Morgan, a part-time flying instructor with experience piloting the same aircraft, was called from his grade to help out. Cuando se acercaba a Palm Beach, Florida, Robert Morgan, un instructor de vuelo a tiempo parcial con experiencia piloteando a la misma aeronave, fue llamado desde su descanso para ayudar. Harrison had only one option, to trust the voice of the man he'd never heard before, he'd never seen, or he'd never met in his life. Harrison solo tenía una opción, confiar en la voz de un hombre que nunca antes había visto o conocido en su vida. Harrison was able to follow the directions from Morgan and safely landed the plane like a pro. Harrison pudo seguir las instrucciones de Morgan y aterrizó con seguridad el avión como todo un profesional. There are two words that I want to focus today. One is trust and the other one is truth. Hay dos palabras en las que me quiero enfocar hoy. Una es confianza y la otra es verdad. Every person in this world struggled with trust and to find the truth. Toda persona en este mundo lucha por confiar y encontrar la verdad. In fact, the truth is something that has been challenged since the beginning of the creation with Adam and Eve. La verdad es que la verdad ha sido cuestionada desde el comienzo de la creación con Adán y Eva. Satan has been finding ways to change the truth to make us believe something as the truth when in reality is not. Satanás ha estado encontrando formas de cambiar la verdad para hacernos creer algo como la verdad cuando en realidad no lo es. Jesus identifies Satan this way. The Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 44 says, He has always hated the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, it is consistent with his character 
for he is a liar and father of all lies. Jesús identificó a Satanás de esta manera en el Evangelio de Juan capítulo 8, verso 44. Él ha sido as el asesino desde el principio y siempre ha odiado la verdad porque en él no hay verdad. Cuando miente, actúa de acuerdo a su naturaleza porque es mentiroso y es padre de toda mentira. Satan's mission on this earth has always been to speak contrary to the word of God. La misión de Satanás en esta tierra siempre ha sido hablar en contra de la palabra de Dios. He uses the very same things God created against us. Él usa la misma cosa que Dios ha creado en contra de nosotros. For example, our emotions. Por ejemplo, nuestras emociones. Fear is something that was created by God to help us be alert and to point us to Christ so we can trust Him. El miedo es algo que fue creado por Dios para ayudarnos a estar alerta y señalarnos a Cristo para que podamos confiar en Él. But saying lies makes us believe that our decision has separated us from God. Then fear takes over, uh, uh, over us and does not let us get closer to God. Pero Satanás, las mentiras de Satanás nos hacen creer que nuestras decisiones nos han separado de Dios. Entonces el miedo se apodera de nosotros y no nos deja acercarnos a Dios. Now, when Jesus spoke of the Holy Spirit, it was something different. Ahora cuando Jesús habló del Espíritu Santo, habló de una manera completamente diferente. Jesus said this about the Holy Spirit. It's, it's, it's in John chapter 15, verse 26. But I will send you the advocate, the spirit of truth. He will come to you from the Father and will testify all about me. Y Jesús dijo en Juan capítulo 15, verso 26, A ustedes yo les enviaré el abogado defensor, el espíritu de verdad. Él vendrá del Padre y dará testimonio acerca de mí. There is nothing to fear, brothers and sisters. No hay nada que temer, hermanos y hermanas. Now you belong to God. You are called children of God. The Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth is in you. No hay nada que temer. Ahora tú perteneces a Dios Eres llamado hijo o hija de Dios y el Espíritu de Dios, el Espíritu de verdad, está en ustedes. This is what John said. You have already won victory over. Esto es lo que Juan, eh, Jesús dijo en Juan. Ya lograron la victoria sobre. You have won victory over your fears. You have already won victory over your anxiety. You have won victory over your worries because the spirit who lives in you it is greater than the spirit who lives in this world. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Ya has ganado la victoria sobre tus miedos. Ya has ganado la victoria sobre tus ansiedades. Ya has ganado la victoria sobre tus preocupaciones. Porque el Espíritu que vive en ustedes es más poderoso que el Espíritu que vive en este mundo. This understanding gives great confidence in spiritual power. Este entendimiento nos da gran confianza y un poder espiritual. For those walking in this truth, victory is assured. Para aquellos que caminan en esta verdad, la, la victoria está asegurada. It is a positive statement. Es una declaración positiva. Not a wishful hope. No es una esperanza deseosa. We have many spiritual enemies, but not one of them is greater than Jesus who lives in us. 
Tenemos muchos enemigos espirituales, pero ninguno de ellos es mayor que Jesús, quien vive en nosotros. Earlier in this letter, John brought up the idea of the world and its threat to the Christian life. Anteriormente en esta carta, Juan mencionó la idea del mundo y su amenaza para la vida cristiana. He presented the world not as the global earth or the mass of humanity which God himself loves, just like John 3.16 said. Él presentó el mundo no como la tierra global o la masa de la humanidad que Dios mismo ama, pues lo dice en Juan 3.16. Instead, it is the community of sinful humanity that is united in rebellion against God. En cambio, es la comunidad de la humanidad pecadora la que está unida en rebelión contra Dios. Here, John suggests that there are forces of spiritual darkness that guide and influence the world. Aquí Juan sugiere que hay fuerzas de oscuridad espiritual que guían e influyen en el mundo. Our God is the great I am. I am greater than you. God is greater than you. God is greater than this world. God is greater than me. God is greater than anything. Nuestro Dios es el gran yo soy. El yo soy es mayor que tú. El yo soy es mayor que yo. El yo soy es mayor que el mundo y los que están en este mundo. Just like Mr. Harrison from the illustration at the beginning of this sermon. He had to trust the voice coming over his headset in order to safely land the plane. Al, al igual que el señor Harrison de la ilustración que dije al principio de mi sermón, él tuvo que confiar en la voz que provenía a través de sus audífonos para poder aterrizar el avión. We can trust God's word, even though we can't physically see God, we have his word. We can listen to his word and obey it so we can make a safe landing. Nosotros tenemos la palabra de Dios. Podemos confiar en la palabra de Dios. Aunque no podemos ver físicamente a Dios, tenemos su palabra. Podemos escuchar su palabra y obedecerla para que podamos hacer un aterrizaje seguro. I want you to Remember this, God is greater than your troubles. Jesus is greater than your past. And the Holy Spirit who lives in you is greater than the world. Yo quiero que ustedes recuerden estas palabras. Dios es mayor que tus problemas. Jesús es mayor que tu pasado. Y el Espíritu Santo de Dios que vive en ti es mayor que este mundo. Let us have a moment of prayer. Father God, we thank you for the blessing of your word. Because it is true. Dios, te damos gracia por la bendición de tu palabra porque es verdadera. Thank you for speaking to us that you are greater than this world. Gracias por hablarnos y decirnos que tú eres mayor que este mundo. Thank you, God, because you have sent the Holy Spirit to be the advocate. Gracias, Dios, por haber enviado al Espíritu Santo para que sea nuestro abogado. God, we have the confidence that the Holy Spirit who lives in us is greater than the Spirit who lives in this world. Señor, tenemos la confianza de que el Espíritu que vive en nosotros es mayor que el Espíritu que vive en este mundo. I pray, Lord, that you bless each of us this morning, that when we need this word, may you remind us of this word. Te, te pido, Dios, que tú nos uh, recuerdes de esta palabra en el momento que sea necesario. Father God, and we pray that this word may continue in our heart now and forever. Y oramos que esta palabra continúe en nuestros corazones 
ahora y siempre. In the name of Jesus we pray. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amen. Amen. Believe in Jesus and have peace in your soul. A blessed quietness from God above.
As the doxology of these uh, song, all of you can come and uh, bring your offering to the offering place on this table. Mientras cantamos, pueden traer sus ofrendas aquí a la mesa al frente. Satisfy the thirsty and fill the hungry with good things. Receive the offerings we bring before you this day. And this gifts may continue your work of tending the need, providing hope for the down road, and blessing those who live in want. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Bendice las ofrendas recogidas en esta tarde. Que sea de bendición para todos aquellos en necesidad. En el nombre de Jesús oramos. Amén.
All the time? That's good. Amen. Praise God. And just as a sign of his goodness that we heard in the Gospel of John this morning, we have a table with a bunch of food on it. Just as a reminder for you with growling stomachs after all this hard worship and praise this morning, please join us with that for a great time of fellowship. But prior to that, let us join in the, or let's uh, enter into the benediction. Uh, please rise if you are able. People, go forth who have been raised with Christ to newness of life. Go forth as people whose lives are hidden with Christ in the living God. Go forth as people who will be revealed in glory when Christ's glory is revealed. Go in peace and serve the Lord. But prior, before we break apart, let me say a, a, a blessing for the food. Gracious Father, we thank you for all your provisions this morning. We thank you for all your, your presence that you filled in us, Lord, as we worship you. We, we, we make you the center of our lives. And we ask, Lord, that you would bless this fellowship, this time together. And ask for your blessing upon this food that it may nourish and grant us good health. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Enjoy. <laughs> 